Hello, Blackhawk Middle School. My name is Miss Kelty, and I am going to walk you through um, some quick logging in information um, that hopefully will help you if you don't have a teacher available to you um, during this virtual learning time. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and make sure that all of my um, extra tabs and things are closed down. I don't want any extra windows open, anything that could possibly slow my Chromebook down, right? Like Snapchat on my Chromebook, TikTok definitely slows it down, um, or games or anything like that. I'm going to click on MMSD bookmarks and class link, and it will take me to my class link launch pad, which you were able to see on my screen that whole time. So again, MMSD bookmarks is already bookmarked for you on your browser. And you're going to see Achieve 3000, which you all use every Wednesday. You're going to see Common Lit. You can see your Gmail, Google Classroom, Google Drive. All of the important things that you need are right here. I have a couple more because I'm a teacher. So mine probably looks a lot messier and um, has a lot more than yours does. Um, so. To log in for your reading assessment, which is the A reading assessment, some of you are going to see a folder that says assessments. You're going to click on that folder. Let me move me out of the way. Oh. And you're going to see Fast Bridge Learning. We're going to click on that icon and it will take you to the main Fast Bridge page. Um, if I click on it, it takes me to the teacher page, right, which has all sorts of data and information like that that we don't really want to look at right now. But when you log in, you are going to click on the A reading icon, which has a little red book with an orange apple on top. That is what you are going to click on if you need to complete that assessment. If you are needing to complete your iReady diagnostic, which all math students are going to complete, you need to log into iReady. Now, the iReady icon will be in your, um, in your, I was about to say in your folder, in your launch pad for ClassLink. It's not in my launch pad because I don't um, teach math, but I am going to show you how you can log on if you are logging on from a computer that's not your Chromebook. So if you're logging on from your Chromebook, you're just going to go to ClassLink and that's what's going to get you in to iReady. If you're logging on from a different computer, like let's say I'm logging in from my grandma's computer, I am going to type in my student ID number. And if I don't remember what that is, I can email my virtual mentor and ask for help. So I start by using my student ID as my username and my password starts with a lowercase x. And then after the lowercase x, I have my birthday. So I put mm. MM month month. Let me do it up here so I can actually see it. The so lowercase x. There we go. So this would go in the password field, but obviously I can't see that, right? So lowercase x and then the month of my birthday. So let's say that my birthday is in January. I would put zero one, and then let's say um, my birthday is January. What's the day today? January twenty second. Let's say today's my birthday, January twenty second, and let's say I was born in the year two thousand and one. I'm going to put the last two numbers, so I would put zero one, and then I'm going to put a capital X at the end. Okay. So what I was just saying before about M's and X's and you know days, it's a lowercase X the month of your birthday, the day of your birthday, the last two numbers of the year you were born, and then a capital X, okay? So that is the formula for every single person's password. So student ID, student ID number, right? And then my login. And again, this should only be how you're logging in if you're not logging in from your Chromebook. If you're on your Chromebook, you can go to Class Link and you can access iReady by clicking on the icon in Class Link, which is a white icon that has a 3D green, red, and blue box and says iReady. Now, when you log into iReady, the only thing that will be available to you is a green button that looks kind of like a brain and says um, that it's your diagnostic assessment. You will not be able to do my pathway 
or teacher assigned lessons until you have finished your diagnostic. So you will need to click the green button to start your diagnostic and you will have to finish that before you are able to continue in iReady. Hope this was helpful. Bye friends.